we made a, a squash and carrot and apple curry. I added a turnip and an onion. And these are curry leaves, these beautiful things. These are optional. So with the apples, to take the skin off or leave it on is up to the cook. I like the skin on for the color and the texture. And I cut everything into bite-sized pieces for this dish. Here's the turnip. You can also use parsnip if the turnips don't look great. And I have a pound of carrots, two apples, one turnip, and about a pound and a half of butternut squash. We're gonna soften these guys up first and get them to sweat it out. Then we're going to add our ginger and our garlic, which I have right here. About two inches of ginger and four cloves of garlic we'll add. We gotta wait on that a little bit. Okay, the butter is hot again, so we're gonna throw in. All I added here was salt to get the vegetables to sweat, and I put a lid on the pan, and I'm on medium-high heat. And we'll just stir that occasionally as it cooks down. We add the ginger and the garlic once that's cooked down and soft. Then we sprinkle in the flour, stir so it doesn't have a pasty taste, and add one quart of vegetable stock. Now this is optional too. I like to stir in a little mango chutney, a quarter to a third of a cup. This is the blend that I use for this dish and I've toasted it. Two teaspoons each of cumin seed, coriander seed, fenugreek leaf and fenugreek, mustard seed, black pepper, and about a teaspoon, a round teaspoon I'd say, of caraway, three cloves, five allspice berries, and three cardamom pods. Once we grind it up, we're gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper and about a tablespoon plus a teaspoon of turmeric. Three good tablespoons or three palmfuls of a curry blend, or you can make your own. And we're gonna put the toasted spice in here. And I'm just gonna eyeball my turmeric and my cayenne Okay, and we, look, all I did was just swish it around. And now we're ready to go with our spice. This is the all vegetable and apple curry. We sprinkled in the flour and we're thickening up now a quart of vegetable stock. So we just stir in a little bit of that sweet chutney. Don't put that in too early because the sugar will burn on the bottom of your pan. We're gonna griddle the naan bread and you add a tiny splash of water. When that bubbles and dances, that's when we put these guys in, top side down, so the charred bubbly side down. Let them get brown and then flip them. Then we're gonna top them with this mixture that I'm working on over here. Mixture of cilantro and mint, one or two cloves of garlic, depending on how much you like garlic, about a cup and a half to two cups of Greek yogurt, full fat. We're gonna add the juice of one lime, cumin, about a teaspoon of cumin, one bunch of charred scallion, and if you want it a little spicy, I seeded a jalapeno and charred it with the scallions. So then we pop the lid on and let her rip. Just gotta let this go until it becomes kind of smooth. Back here, I'm reheating the rice. And what I did here was I toasted, you can see it here, I toasted fideo or broken thin spaghetti. And then I added to that a cup and a half of white rice and I cooked it in the same vegetable broth. And we're gonna add the smoked almonds, about a half a cup. Look what's happening over here. We're down to just a few bubbles of water. So now I can put in the bread and let this brown on the first side. Here's the garlic naan. And slather that boondi masala. And I just put these little crunchy chickpea puffs all over the top of that. So here's our smoked almond rice, our all vegetable and apple curry, and our beautiful naan bread. Look at how healthy and fulfilling this meal is.